at the time. So I feel like, you know. There's no way to shot this That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. Carl, Were you shocked when she got pregnant? I mean, yeah, I was shocked because she was with her baby daddy. You know, they had problems. They, they, he left. Then we but got together. When we left, father. when you, when but you left, father, we got together. Then like a the week the... or something, she pregnant. No, no but, but you're the father of her, though. But you're the father, and, and you don't stand and up. And he say little things. He say little things. It's slick things. So why not speak up on him, boy? She you. Come on, let him know. You didn't think you could have children. No, my soldiers ain't marching. Chicken ain't cooking. To death. But what a feature is it? Meanwhile, you didn't sign that birth certificate, did you? No, nah. Because I got my death. Why would I, why would I, why would I put myself in something like that? I mean, I love her, though. I right. love her, but Meanwhile, if another man claiming, Carl, I gotta why? I gotta tell you something, Carl, that you don't know, all right? Cassandra wants to reveal something to you. <laughs> about that birth certificate. I Go. did have my first child father sign the birth certificate. See? This is but you're the father of the dog. But you're the father of the dog. You're the father of the dog. But you're the father of the dog. You've been there since day one. You're the father. Okay, here we go. In the case of baby Brooklyn, Carl, you are not... Okay, welcome back to another episode. Uh, this is Mike Perkins, one half of MVP, one half of Opinions Only Podcast, one half of Mike and Vince Perkins. And for this here, I am the whole show. Um, so you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna red pill all the men, mandatory paternity tests will do so. The one thing that men don't believe about women is that they operate at a deviant level that will allow them to do paternity fraud. And I think that if you want to red pill all the men, the best way to do that is to show how women operate in this dual mating strategy of, you know, it's been coined alpha fucks, beta bucks, alpha need, beta C, I mean, alpha C, beta need, um, but a dual mating strategy that includes you being a stepdad, you know, that includes 56% of black men not having kids, 44% of black men having kids, 30% of black men having one baby mama and 14% of black men having two or more baby mamas meaning 14 or less percent of the men are responsible for the majority of the kids if you want to red pill the men mandatory paternity tests is the thing because most guys really don't understand how deep this rabbit hole goes they don't understand how deep Uh, we can go with the information that we have, how deep we can go with the deviancy uh, of women, our women in particular. I don't think anybody really understands that, that we're really, really being nice. We're only saying probably, I would say 20, 20, 30% of the stuff that we could possibly say. All of these, you know, like uh, Professor Edna, X, but um, X um, that does the uh, that does the debates. You know, he has a. Uh, I, I said I was going to do it, but I don't have to do it. I can just send people to him. 
um, he has a story. Every time he does a show, he has a story about a black woman doing something to kids. Some ridiculous thing that a black woman did. And he never runs out of shit. You know, if you want to red pill the man, mandatory paternity test. Mandatory paternity tests will definitely change your mind because you'll have to see it as it is. Another thing with the mandatory paternity test, um, whenever you know America or white people have a cold, black people have a flu, if you would red pill the men with mandatory paternity tests, you would break the black community with mandatory paternity tests. Because the number as it stands is around 30%. And that's other paternity tests that have been taken. You know, you can speculate what the number is outside of that. You know what I mean? Because that's for only the paternity tests that have been taken. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody doesn't take paternity tests, obviously. Um, but for the paternity tests that have been taken, 30% of them are negative. 32 or something like that. You know, which is essentially one out of three. I think that anybody who's a betting man, you know, if you're a betting man, and paternity tests were mandatory, I'm thinking that that number would at least stay at 30 and likely it would go above 30. I think that what we're dealing in is we're dealing in a bunch of women who don't have to be held accountable for the the kind of behavior that would yield false paternity or paternity fraud and that we don't know what we're dealing with. And this would force us to have to understand what we're dealing with to the extent that it would break the black community completely. And you would literally have to see what kind of women we're dealing with. Because I don't think that dudes even, I think that on some level dudes don't believe that it's this bad. You know, you see the evictions, you see all the the, 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 the student loan debt, you see all the, the internet antics, TikTok and Instagram and whatnot, all the thoughtery, all of the the, the justifications of, of, of just whorish behavior. You don't believe that these women are like that. But I think that if we got some concrete information on who they are, that we would it, it, it would break the black community. It would break it to the point of there being like I, I'm, I'm talking about January 6th type of deal. You know, and really, like I said, you don't have to really worry about dudes who are already red pill, who already have an awareness. It's the guys that are blue pill, beta male, sympathy, sympathy guys. Like those guys are the guys you really have to worry about. January 6th, it would break the black community. And I think that if we want to speed it up and make this thing happen for real, we should push for that. I think that that should be the next thing on the ballot. <laughs> You know, anybody I vote for is going to have to to have that on their thing. Or I'll vote, but I'll just put in Mickey Mouse. You know, I'll put in Mickey Mouse. I'll vote. I'll just, you know, I'll put in Daffy Duck or Goofy Goofy. (laughs) You know, mandatory paternity tests, family court reform and marriage reform. Mandatory paternity tests will ultimately break it's Thanos snap it's the Thanos snap you know all the women that you just gotta pick the right one you just gotta it's all the same now now we have a now we actually know everything cause that's the thing that ultimately it is you know paternity fraud is about the, the worst thing you can do to a man other than attempting and successfully killing him about the worst thing you can do Paternity fraud is about the worst thing you can do. You know, if somebody in the comments knows of something worse than paternity fraud, you know, other than killing and attempting to, you know, kill, killing any murder would probably be worse. But paternity fraud is about the worst thing you can do to a man. And we don't know it. And I think most dudes are afraid of the test because you're afraid of what ultimately you would have to do. You know, so you're protecting her, protecting yourself, but protecting her. Most of us don't want to know. As much as we do want to know, we want to know on behalf of other dudes, but we don't want to know on behalf of ourselves. 
and uh, yeah, that would break the community and certainly red pill all the men. Because even if your kids are yours, I think the amount of guys that you would see that wouldn't actually be the father of the kids that they've been taking care of, I think that you would ultimately get it. Because ain't nothing like knowing your boy went through that because it starts making you think about what you're going through. You know. But, you know, that's my time, man. I mean, mandatory paternity test. You know, that should be the next wave. That should be the next thing, you know. And if, if if anybody politically isn't talking about that, they're really not relevant at this point. You know, this is the perfect time to break the shit. They getting evicted. They losing jobs and shit. It's the perfect time to say mandatory paternity test. What leverage do they have? <laughs> Sit your ass outside. <laughs> but all right, this is Mike Perkins, and I am out.